3.16. Lesson 3.6. Vocabulary for speaking. Wasting time. Exercise B1. Listen to each dialogue. Complete it with a word from the list on the right. Make any necessary changes. 1. A study group is a good idea because... I don't agree. It's a waste of time. Please don't interrupt. I haven't finished. Sorry. 2. Have you done the assignment yet? No, I haven't. I'll do it tomorrow. Don't put it off any more. It's urgent. I've still got plenty of time. 3. Should I write the essay first? Don't distract me. Or should I revise instead? Look, I have to get on with my work. 4. I'm trying to concentrate. Sorry? What do you mean? The television's disturbing me. But this is my favourite programme. 3.17 Lesson 3.7 Real-time speaking. Time thieves. People and things. Exercise B1. Listen to the first part of a tutorial about interruptions by people. OK. I asked you to look at time thieves for this tutorial. In particular, I asked you to do some research on interruptions from other students, particularly flatmates. How did you get on? Mark. OK. I asked several people and they all said that other people are the main time thieves. I asked people for solutions. Some people said, um, tell them to go away. So, um, that's the first solution. Other people said that you should stop for a few minutes. You should stop and talk to them for a few moments. Then you should get on with your work. So that's number two. A couple of people said that you should not try to study at home, in your flat or house. You should go to the library instead. That's what I found. 3.18. Exercise B2. Listen to the second part of the tutorial. OK. What do we think of those solutions? I agree with the first solution. They know that you have to study, so they shouldn't interrupt you. I don't think that's possible. You can't be rude to someone, even if you are studying. I think the second solution is better. Stop for a few minutes and then continue. That's right. You can be polite, but then say that you have to study. Yes, I think so too. That's the best solution. Absolutely. Just have a quick chat. Possibly, but the interruption still disturbs you. I suppose so. OK, I've changed my mind. The last solution is the best one. Go and study somewhere else. I agree. So do I. Me too. 3.19. Exercise D2. Listen to the students discussing mobile phones. I looked at mobile phones. I talked to a number of students and they all agreed that the mobile phone is a big thief. The problem is that it never stops ringing. I asked people for solutions and some people said turn it off. And other people said, tell people not to ring at certain times when you are studying. A few people said that you should screen the calls. You know, only answer if you need to speak to the person. So those are my solutions. OK. Any thoughts? I agree with the first solution. I think that you should turn off the phone when you are studying. Absolutely. We shouldn't let mobile phones rule our lives. I'm not sure. Mobile phones are for people to contact you in an emergency, so you can't turn them off all the time. That's right. You have to keep your mobile on, but you don't have to answer it. I suppose so. You could just screen the calls. Perhaps, but the call still disturbs you, even if you don't answer it. 
That's true. OK, a y you're right. The second solution is the best one. Tell people not to call during your study period. Then they can still call if it's really an emergency. I agree. I do too. So do I. 3.20 Everyday English Interruptions Exercise B1 Listen to the conversations. Find three conversations that match the photographs above. 1. I'm really sorry to interrupt, but there's an urgent call for you. Who is it? The CEO. Right. I'd better take it. Excuse me a moment. 2. Can you help me with this? I can't, I'm afraid. I'm flat out. It'll only take a minute. OK, a y pass it over. 3. Am I disturbing you? Well, I am a bit busy at the moment. OK, a y I'll phone back later. Thanks. After 2. 4. Is it OK a y if I put the television on? Well, actually, I'm trying to read. I won't have it on loud. You always say that. Five. Can I disturb you for a moment? Yes, what is it? The internet connection has stopped working again. Well, phone the maintenance department then. Six. Sorry, could I possibly interrupt? Yes, of course. What's the problem? Well, would you mind repeating that last figure? I'm afraid I missed it. Certainly. It was $15,783,000. 3.21 Lesson 3.8 Learning new speaking skills Tutorial skills Exercise A2 Listen and check your answers. A. Distraction Appreciation. Contribution. B. Preference. Emphasis. Possible. C. Apologize. Impossible. Alternative. D. Annoying. Agreement. Remember. 3.22. Exercise B3. Listen and repeat the phrases in the skills check. Copy the intonation patterns. I agree with you. That's right. Absolutely. Possibly. Perhaps. You could be right. I suppose so. I don't really agree with you. I'm not sure. I still think that... I still don't believe that... I've changed my mind. Now I think... Okay, you're right. Yes, actually, that's true. 3.23 Pronunciation check. Quotation. Interruption. Emphasize. Sincerity. Efficiency. Forgiveness. Improvement. 3.24. Lesson 3.9. Grammar for speaking. Tense agreement in short responses. Grammar box 15. 1. I agree. I do too. So do I. Me too. 2. I don't agree. I don't either. Neither do I. Me neither. 3. I researched mobile phones. I did too. So did I. Me too. 4. 
I didn't look at interruptions. I didn't either. Neither did I. Me neither. 3.25 Grammar Box 16 1. I think it's a good solution. Do you? I don't. 2. I don't think that's a good idea. Don't you? I do. 3. I looked at interruptions. Did you? I didn't. 4. I didn't find anything on the internet. Didn't you? I did. 3.26 Exercise C. Listen to some statements. Give a truthful response. 1. I have two brothers. 2. I live close to this institution. 3. I'm quite good at English. 4. I'm a morning person. 5. I'm going to go abroad for my next holiday. 6. I don't like the weather at the moment. 7. I didn't go to any lectures last week. 8. I'm looking forward to the exams. 9. I probably won't work in this country.